This is Sky News. The Federal Indigenous Affairs Minister has labelled remote Northern Territory housing as in crisis after he visited a two-bedroom home filled with 26 people, including 15 children. After Senator Nigel Scullion raised the alarm, a local housing group offered the extended family a four-bedroom home. But the NT government remains silent on the overcrowding crisis as Sky News Indigenous Affairs reporter Dan Borsha filed this exclusive report. The Northern Territory's housing crisis in remote Indigenous communities is clearly seen here in this town camp on the outskirts of Borroloola. It remains a crisis. This sort of overcrowding isn't isolated. That will cater to the growing number of artists looking to transform their cultural heritage into marketable products. The community says there also needs to be a greater focus on getting young people into jobs. Dan Borsha, Sky News, Kumbalanya. Hello and welcome to this special report remembering Tracy 40 years on. I'm Dan Borsha and I've been covering commemorations of the killer storm. The reaction to Cyclone Tracy was swift with support coming in from all corners of Australia. Governor General Sir Peter Cosgrove was part of that first response. He spoke exclusively to Sky News about the trauma that followed Tracy and the resilience he saw in those who survived. A great deal of uh, frustration and, uh, and sort of uh, dismay at the great damage but almost immediately that was uh, replaced with a determination to get the place back in running order and of course to rebuild into the sort of city it is today. One of the finest cities in, uh, in this part of the world. This is Sky News.